Performance testing is the very crucial when preparing to release your API into the production. Imagine hundreds of users that will hammer your API with the request that will potentially cause into the crash due to the high traffic. My name is Remik and in today's video we'll dive deeply into the world of K6 performance testing tool that allows you to write your own JavaScript scripts and then to conduct the performance tests like the load test, stress test, soak tests, and spike test on your API, and then you receive developable insights about the performance of your API and will help you out with finding the potential bottlenecks in your system. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, then please hit the subscribe button down below, write the comment, give me a like, and as always, now I'm going straight into the topic. All right, guys, so at first we have to install the K6 software on our machines. I have put the link that is displayed here on the top in the description of this video so you can access it. And now based on your operating system, you have to pick one of the commands. You can also run the K6 software inside of the Docker container. Here you have also the command to pull this Grafana K6 image, but I will just pick this one for the simplicity. So win get install k6 source win get inside of the command line. So I will put this one over there and execute it with the enter. Now I will very quickly show you which API will actually test in today's tutorial. So as you see on the screen, I have the API that is the ASP.NET Core application and is called decoratordemo.api. If you haven't watched my last video about the decorator pattern in the software design based on this kind of API, I highly recommend to click on the link that is displayed on the top. But now I'm gonna only show you the output that is returned from one of the get endpoints. So we have the get endpoint that is slash students in our local host with the following port. And we have as the result, the list of all the students from the database. And in today's tutorial, we're gonna perform all the performance tests against this API. And now we are ready to start writing our first performance tests. The first one will be called load test.js. So the test that will simulate a typical production load to assess the system's performance under normal conditions. And now we have to write import HTTP from the K6 HTTP. And after that, also we need to import the, the check and sleep from directly k6. Now we have to define the options. So how many virtual users actually load test our application and the duration for this load test. So I'm gonna write export const options will be equal to the virtual users and I'm gonna set the 50 virtual users for this load test and the duration will be one minute. And now we have to type export default function and inside of that function we'll set the response based on the http.get and inside of it, we'll have our students endpoint, students, and now we'll be ready to use this check that was imported. So check, we have to pass the response out of that, and inside of it, we'll check two things, if the status was 200, so the OK response, and also the response time. So the first one will be the status, status is 200 and we'll just take this response and then r dot status has to be equal to 200. The next check will be the response time as I have said. So response time is less than 500 milliseconds and the same we have to take this r 
and and take r dot timings dot duration is less than 500 and after that we have to use the sleep function for this virtual user to wait one second we have to correct also this additional space that was added by accident and we are ready to run this load test so i have opened the directory where this script is located but of course your location could be whatever that you would like to so now i'm just gonna write k6 run and this load test.js and as you see we have 50 out of 50 virtual users and we have a lot of requests that are running against our api after performing the test we receive the following data as you see we have the status is 200 so the green line over there so it was properly accepted by our load test but the response time with the less than 500 milliseconds it was only 38 percent of the request that were faster than 500 milliseconds so it could be for us the information to maybe apply the caching in our api so also we have the data about the how many requests were made against our API with also the average of 34.4 requests per second. Also the virtual users were fluctuating between 40 and 50 and also how much data we received from this API. Now we are ready to write our next test and it will be called stresstest.js. So the test that will gradually increase the load to identify the system's breaking point. I will copy those imports because they are the same ones in this kind of test as well, but the options will look a little bit differently. So export const options and inside of it we'll have the stages array where we'll have duration it will be for instance one minute at first and the target of the virtual users and the target will be in this case 200 then we will keep this load for certain amount of time for instance two minutes with the same target of users and then we'll go once again and increase this one so increase the target so the virtual users two times so 400 virtual users and after that we'll just reduce this load and check if our system will handle this amount of the virtual users so and then it will go down for the two minutes to target of zero you can copy this function and put inside of this file but i will remove this response time just to only check the status of our responses and now we'll run the test the same way so k6 run and now the name will be different so stress test.js As the result, after performing this stress test, I've received the out of memory exception from my API, so it has just crashed. Also, in the metrics, we see that the 87% of those who request were successful, but 13% of those not. So that means when we have out of memory exception, this is like the breaking point of our API with the about 400 of the virtual users, and we can for instance, adjust our responses from this endpoint to apply the pagination to not return about 2000 students to the caller, but to return those students in the smaller chunks and also apply the caching to it. Now I'll create another JavaScript file, but now for the soak test. So it will be called soak test.js and 
It maintains a constant load over an extended period to uncover the performance issues that may arise over time. So I'm just gonna copy the whole content of this stress.js and we can adjust it based on our needs. So now I'll also take this response time from this first load test I'll add this over there and we have to change those stages to something like two minutes for the target of let's say 100 of the virtual users then it will be a constant load for three hours for instance with this 100 of the users and then for the two minutes it will go down up to zero of the virtual users. So I will just change this in this manner. Now I will not run this test, but it will be the same as with this stress and the load test, but it will require a lot of time to check if our API will handle this load of 100 virtual users for the three hours. And the last kind of test that we'll cover in today's tutorial will be the spike test. So I will create spike test.js file. So it will be the test that rapidly increases the load to an extreme level and then quickly drops it. So I will take everything what's inside of the stress test and modify it accordingly. And now we'll change only the stages. So it will be for the 10 seconds, it will increase to 100. Then it will keep those virtual users as 100 for the one minute. And then it will be the spike in the 10 seconds to let's say 300 of the users. Then we'll have also the amount of this load for the certain period of time. So it will be 300 for one minute and then it will go down in a 10 seconds up to 100 as before then we'll have for the one minute it will keep 100 and then it will go down in the 10 seconds up to zero of users and now we can run this last test so k6 run spike test.js so just to check if this spike of 300 virtual users will be handled by our api correctly or not so i'll click enter after executing the spike test i received the following data 95% of the requests were successful and 5% were not. In the API side, once again, out of memory exceptions. So based on those four types of tests, I received the feedback that my decorator demo.api has a lot of bottlenecks in terms of the performance and needs to have more improvements before releasing into the production. So I highly recommend you to test in terms of the performance your API with the K6 performance testing tool.